I get the feeling that something good is about to happen. I don't know when, I don't know where, but I feel like something is about to happen. So let's go. Well, now that we've got Woodfall taken care of, let's let's go do Butler Race. And then after that, the next best bet would kind of just to be any of the things that I've just kind of put to the side. And it's a good thing I did over the break, just kind of go through and think, okay, what, what haven't I taken the time to do yet? And there's a, there's a few things that I've, uh, I've not done. I think uh, at least seven things I was able to come up with. So I have a little list. We'll just kind of go through, see what we find. Hopefully it will work. I get the feeling that one of these things is going to have it, so we'll find out. So now we just have to go return the princess, and we'll see how well I do on the butler race. That'll be fun. Now does this... I haven't done this in a while. Does this skip this cutscene? It does not. It's fine with me. It is humorous. Foolish father! <laughs> yeah, th that glare. That's a glare of, you do what I tell you to. <laughs> Alright. So, all is good. Just gotta get through this. All right, now we can do the race. Oops. It'll be interesting without the bunny hood, because I typically do it with the bunny hood. We'll have to see if I can uh, keep up, which I know is an easy thing to do, but as, uh, as someone who hasn't done it in a while, and again, I usually do it with the bunny hood, we'll, uh, we'll see how this works. Here we go. That is, this is the one thing I do find pretty cool with this game, because typically how it works is um, you have to stay in the transformed state for them to recognize you as such, but that also means that, especially in the case with the Deku, if they see you as anything but a Deku, they'll be hostile towards you. And especially in the palace's case, they'll throw you out. But when you uh, save the temple and return the princess, uh, then you can actually untransform and they will not do anything bad towards you. Okay, took that just a little too. It's like the butler, like it doesn't matter what form you're in, the butler recognizes that this is you. Okay, so just keep going this way. I will take it this way. If I wanted to be really fast, I guess uh, uh, traveling as uh, Deku is my best bet right now. Goron is pretty good uh, for some of the more uh, lengthy sections, like even coming up here. Just as long as I can keep an eye on the butler, I am fine. All right. Risk. Like that? <laughs> there we go. Ow. This is the one that always got me. Okay. Oops. No. So here we 
we go. And I guess it, going back to my previous topic too, it is a good thing that they include challenges in this that require you to unmask yourself as if to prove the point that you can be a human and the Deku will not think hostile towards you. All right, so we get Milk Drop. Okay, well, I'm not gonna record that for any reason. If all else fails, it pawn a song on cows. But I don't think I'm gonna need this. Okay, well, that takes care of Butler Race. And I know that anything in the Southern Swamp area is unnecessary. And I am fairly certain that also includes the Swamp Spider House. So, guess who is not stepping foot in that? Okay. So... Time to go through my list of what can I do to actually get a good item. And we'll start with the first one, which is a simple one. The P-Hack Grotto. It is daytime. I can actually battle and defeat the P-Hat. As soon as I find... Where's that grotto? Right over there. As soon as... I... Where are you? There you are. Okay. And the reason I don't do this, especially in the early game, is because I don't have hearts and P-Hats hurt. I can also get way more damage. Also, the thought of a spinning P-Hat that is on fire is actually kind of scary. <laughs> Just seeing all those flames whirl around just makes me go, it's like, uh, run! This is terror. Okay. And... Well, if I needed another quiver, that was as good a time as any for it to show up. But that takes that off the list. So now we'll do the next simple one. Which I did put off for a bit, but thanks to having Zora Mask, it's a little easier. Also, I hate how Choo Choo's can stop you if you're not spiky. And that is the Bio Baba Grotto. How did that not break it? I am a walking Megaton Hammer. How did I not break that? Okay, so I want regular arrows on this one to avoid the effect. What do we got? Heart piece! I can ignore you. Well, that takes care of that one. All right. Slightly more lengthy process, but I've had the ability to do this for a while. <laughs> if I can just get out of this <laughs> lever infested area. And that is four, stomp uh, four song stones. So let's see what we get here. And I actually remembered to play the right tune. So once I finish this, probably the next thing I'll do is uh, the room key and stock pot, because that's another quick and simple. There is the Zora Boomerang minigame, which I can't believe I overlooked, but uh, I do know why I did. It's because when I did uh, the waterfall like-like check, I went down that way to get it, and then I saw a soaring away before I came back to realize, wait a second, Zora game. So, I missed that one. So I can do that one too. Oops. Only play it when I'm in the grottos. Now roll! Actually. In the midst of saving time, I'm already here in the east. Let's check it. Oh, 
coming up. So yes, getting the reservation and getting the key are technically two different things. I have explosives! <laughs> it took that long. It took that long to get a bomb bag. Well, I mean, the blast mask has been uh, sufficing for quite a while now, so all right. But I, I can pick up bomb chew if I need them. <laughs> this is wonderful. <laughs> oh man, that's uh, that's taking me back to a randomizer of Ocarina of Time I did on my own time, uh, way long ago. And it stands out to me, and I, I, I took screenshots of this, like, because I was, I, uh, I had a tracker in the background too while I was playing, so I was keeping track of all the things that I was doing. And the last key item I got for the seed was a single bomb bag. Like, I had bomb chews throughout the whole game, so, like, I had explosives. But the last thing I found, and this was like in the last temple I needed to actually beat the game, and one of the final chests, no less, was a bomb bag. And it, it, it just floored me that it's like I went through almost the entire game, and not once did I find a bomb bag for maybe like six hours. Okay. So let's see what we get here. Now, thankfully, for the lack of hookshot, I don't have to worry about Oceanside Spider House right now. So, none of the spider houses are currently on my radar, especially not Swamp. But now that we got the four songs, we get... Snowhead Temple Small Key. Well, two keys are nice. So that takes care of that. So that's four song. So now, we're going to go do Zora Boomerang, since it's still daytime. To the cape! And I'm going to just say this right now, not going to lie. Given the fact that the mirror shield was uh, in the shop here... I'm really curious if I'll find another not required item if I look in some of the other areas. So this is a foolish thing, but I'm gonna check. I just wanna see, it's like, okay, blue potions up there, definitely not needed. Blue rupee for 40, okay, no deal. I'm not even gonna bother with the trade because I don't even know where the mountain deed is. Okay, so we'll go talk to Evan here real quick. Oops. Play the song, we'll get the check. Again, I know this area is foolish, but if I find important items, then I can actually cross things off the list. Now, I didn't actually find anything of importance. So, I'm gonna do one last thing. Just light the torches. Go. Off we go. On we go. Gotcha. Oh, come on. I had that one.
There we go. Lights the torches. Again, I want to see an important item. You t okay. Um, I actually don't know how to interpret that. <laughs> So, um, yeah. If you're telling me that Stone Tower is basically useless, then I'm not even going to bother with Stone Tower. <laughs> Which is fine by me. That is the most confusing dungeon and lengthy dungeon to go through. So, if I don't have to do Stone Tower, I'm fine. I'm happy. Alright. Now, as that... Uh, diversion is over. Let's go back to the intended list. And do this game over here real fast, like. No. No means no. Okay. Little trick with this one. One, two, three, four. Punch. Lift up so slightly, and then go. Almost. Okay, so I just need to be a little bit further. But that's kind of the thing that I got. So one... Lift up super slightly, and then go. There we go. So, I think you have to... I think it's not like four stop-and-go flips. It's uh, four continuous flips. All right, well, that takes care of the Zora Boomerang. So I'm actually getting a little low on things to do. So next, uh, I'm going to go back to Clock Town, put it to day two, and we're going to do the uh, Song in the Bar. And then if this doesn't work. We'll go to Romani Ranch on day three. And we will do uh, whatever we can in the backside of uh, the ranch. So I'm going to have to wait here a hot minute, which is kind of sad. So, water drop guitar. Okay. Uh, return the flow of time to normal, please. So, yeah, gonna just have to wait here a bit. Thankfully, they'll kick me out when it's 10 o'clock, so it's all good there. We'll put the mask there. Yeah, why don't we just kind of go around here where uh, we don't normally get to see the bar. Since it, I'm not gonna lie. If there was, if I ever found a place that was like this, just like an and like an under, like a basement tier type bar that was called the milk bar I I'm on it I'll be honest I don't normally go out places I would find a way to frequent this place merely for the nostalgia of liking Majora's Mask and if, if I if I found out that that place was actually inspired by Majora's Mask just wanted to call it the milk bar I would I would be a frequent customer I, I wouldn't care what they'd sell I would just literally go there every day <laughs> But um, ignoring the carnival music in the background, the actual music that plays in the Milk Bar, like that's one of my favorite tracks from Majora's Mask. Just it's so like it's it's energetic yet it's low key. It just it it just got a good vibe. You like you, you it, it's a good bar setting song. Okay. I'm just, I guess we're just taking a look here, just taking in all the sights, because we don't normally, we wouldn't normally get to do this. Oh, they even have ceiling fans up there. Neat. 
cow masks on the side. I almost wish there was a clock in here so I could tell what time it is. Can I do it there? I can! Nice! So it, it auto-locks you when you're not first person, but I can actually get a view. Alright, that looks like 10 o'clock. Oh, nope. You're a 9 o'clock set. Okay. So if I'm right, we should be seeing Gorman here. Oh, that might have been 8 o'clock. Yeah, there's Gorman. So Gorman just typically comes out around 9. So... If you time it right, Gorman will just be sitting down when you can go in. Yeah, so, like, in a little bit here, that'll be... Uh, that'll be the sign that we can go in. Can I see... No, I think they got the clock not running. Ah, you are a member. So yeah, Gorman will just be in the middle of about uh, sitting down. That's usually the key. Alright. Now we just do the songs here real quick. Now it does thankfully skip everything after the first play. So get ready for the performance of a lifetime with the the uh, guitar Karina, the Deku Cuckoo Clocks. I I want to say that uh, the Gorons is a door opening. Now that I've listened to it a little bit. Yeah, maybe just a creaking door or something. So I'm going to call them the Goron Drum Doors. Anyone want to correct me, go ahead. And the Water Drop Guitar. Oops. I messed that one up. So. <laughs> to all my friends, the grand performance of the four sounds that should never be together. <laughs> that was the best melody I've ever heard. Alright, so what... What does this get? 50, okay. Uh, well, in that case... I think it's time we, uh, do a quick visit to the ranch. So literally none of the things that, that I had on my list, barring Smithy Day 1, produced any result. <laughs> Except for a bomb bag. Which, I've been blast masking the whole time, that's debatable how useful that's been. So I'm going to put time back to slow, and then we're going to go to uh, day three. Because if this does get me something, I'm going to milk the rest of the day for all I can. And that pun was not intended just because I'm on Milk Road. So here we go. So, there's Grog's Cuckoo Shack, which I can I can do. I've got the Bremen Mask. There is the chest in the Dog Racetrack, which I think I can get be with Zora Mask. And then there is the Dog Race, but that is not in Logic, because I don't have uh, the Mask of Truth. That is... Uh, what determines the ability of uh, the racetrack to have something important. 
Oh yes, I can also finally get the hints that I wasn't able to get the last time I was here. Okay, Great Bay Temple on Way of Hero. I already knew that. Time to do a little marching. Oh, where did, uh... That was number three? I thought I got one. Ah, oh, there you are. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. It, it still gave it a position, even though it was just not uh, able to swing around and be part of the, uh, the troop. Ah, sun's in my face. Oh, I see one in the bush there. That's number seven. Oh, there we go. I think I see the one over there, and then I saw the two on the right, so that would be all ten. There we go. So now here's the fun question. If I get something of value from this or the chest in the dog racetrack, I'm going to run under the assumption that that's the important thing I need for the game and I don't have to do anything getting a powder keg. Well, 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 there we go. Captain's hat acquired. All right. That puts Graveyard into the cycle. Okay. So I'm gonna just quickly get the chest at the racetrack, cause, well, I can. It'd be, uh, it, it, it's a logical thing that I can do. By virtue of being tall. At least I think that's how this will work. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could get a magic bean, come back, play the Song of Storms, and there we go, but... Anjo Cafe, I already know that. By virtue of being tall, I can do things. Or at least I'm fairly certain I can. Yes. Oops. Oh yeah, I forgot. All the dogs, uh... All the dogs love Zoralink. Oh, come on. I know I can do this. I just angle myself, right? I want to say I can. I, I know I can do this. I know this might be a bit of a time waste, but I feel like I can do this. Oh, if these dogs weren't here. Maybe I... I can get a good jump? Clip it, maybe? Nah, okay, you know what? Not gonna bother. Me in the future, put what that item is on screen right now. And if it's a if it's an important thing, tell everyone to laugh. If it's not an important thing, then uh Tell everyone to just feel how they want to feel. Okay, now then. We've got the first clue. And that is the captain's hat. So now with that, I can do I can do things in the graveyard. Now since I'm already at Night, I'm already at day three. I'm just gonna go there and do night three. If night three doesn't give me anything of importance, because at this rate, the, the, it, it's gotta be either the hook shot or the bossa nova. That's all it can be. I'm almost willing to bet 
that the thing I'm looking for, or the thing that will come up, is the hookshot. Because I am... Oh, ha. Come on, there are glitches that let me do that. Because w the Bossa Nova certainly unlocks Great Bay Temple, but it wouldn't do anything for me because I wouldn't have the hook shot. So I, I'm i willing to stake a bet on this that the important item I will eventually obtain from the graveyard is the hook shot. Or something that will lead me to the hook shot. Just like another key item. It, it has to be something like that. There's, there's no other way at this point. Like, I can't even get into Ikana without the hookshot right now. So we'll have to do another round of uh, Dompe's Grave Digging Tour, Night 3 version. And I know I'm doing the lengthiest thing first, but I'm already here at Night 3. We're going to do it. So my fellow undead soldiers, break it. We're doing some grave robbing today. Well, at least we got some good music for um, doing some graving. Oh, sorry. Away we go. Now, it, it's completely random as to where the flames are. Like, I didn't do anything to influence uh, where they'll be. Pretty soon I should be hearing a wall master. Yep, that would have been it. So, I think you'll show up. Give me a sec here. Okay. There we go. That takes care of you. So, typically for me, it uh, puts one of the flames on this one, but I could just. It could just be. Pure coincidence, thank you for glitching the camera in the right direction. Okay. Come along, Dompe. This time. All right, I guess it's got to be on the other side then. My luck did not turn up this time. Oops. No, come back. No! <laughs> now I gotta wait. Oh, that bites. Well, I mean, he'll be more over here this time, so I guess that's a plus? But come on! Well, at least he kind of returns to a more centralized position. Oh man, the moon's about to fall. I want to get one last good treasure run before, uh, before we die. Two? That works. Now, if it's not this one, then it's got to be on the other one. That is on the pillar up there. Which, typically, I I feel like it's always programmed for there to be at least one flame on one of the upper spots. Uh, 
I, I think that's just how it's set. I don't, uh... I, I don't know any of the, like, uh, serious aspects of how the randomness works for the flames, but I feel like that's just kind of how it's set. Now oh, come along, Dompe. You're gonna do your little loop around. All right, well, this is the last one, so we got a flame. And the three flames shall combine for the big po. Hey, not bad, you hit me right out of the air. This is why I am glad I have a shield. more hits than I thought with fire arrows. There we go. Now, I don't actually need to catch you, because I, uh, I don't have a need to turn you in. And sadly, it's only regular pose that trigger the 50 rupee and curiosity shot. I played a gambit and it worked! There we go, we got the hook shot. So, now then. That opens up anything that is hookshot specific. And one of the first things that comes to mind is the swamp deed on the way up to Snowhead. So we are going to go back to Clocktown. I'm fairly certain the scarecrows are still active, which means I can set up a scarecrow song. So we'll do that. This way I'm not wasting time. Yes. Oh, and you, you are still active. There we go, all set. So maybe I just caught you at early enough in the evening. But that's good, I now have a Scarecrow song set. So we are going up to Snowhead and we are getting... Hmm. Now, I should also say this aloud, too. I don't know, and yeah, uh, me in the future, uh, confirm this for me. Check and see if in the settings of the randomizer, it does assume that you can do these tricks without the lens of truth. Because there would be a trick to decide whether or not this is capable, because I do not have the lens. So I don't know if the game assumes that I have to have the lens for anything invisible. Just confirm that for myself as well as anyone on... Uh, anyone watching. So I have to remember, and thankfully... Right there. Gotcha. So there's an edge. But if, so if I can get this... Ooh, actually, actually. <laughs> I don't care if this wastes time. You're just a jerk. Not there. Is that close enough? No. I have to go one more. So I do have to be wary of the angles. Because they are square platforms. I don't know where the center is. I could very easily fall over. I'm just lucky I found where the start is.
Get out of my sight. Yep, see, it's one of those... I roll jump to make... to get distance. I don't know if I'm hitting a center point. Is that close enough now? Not yet. Okay, so there's four. Now, another trick as well. Uh, you can actually use bombs. Come on. So what you can do, you can chuck a bomb. And wherever it lands is where you're safe. I took that way too late. At least I got an entertaining way to end this part of the cycle. Not the episode. I'm still, I'm still going. <laughs> Don't think I'm going on break yet. Because the one thing is, too, I've got the hookshot now. So anything hookshot related is now viable. But that also means that uh, the thing I am looking for now is the new wave bossa nova. Yeah, I'm all good. And now it, it becomes a case of where do I go for that? So there's, there's your little, that's your little trick. So it's definitely here. Ah! <laughs> that's a bit of a mishap. Looks to be the edge. Okay, how am I just missing this? I swear the platform is not like right in front of me. I mean, like, the, the good thing with getting the hook shot at the very least, um, like, a lot of things in Great Bay have become open to me. Like, there's the beaver race, which that mini game I enjoy. Like, Compared to, like, half the other things, I actively enjoy the Beaver Race minigame, so... Uh, I am totally fine with having to do that. Um... So, Song of Healing would become available... ...as a potential option. How far was that platform? My goodness. It's still part of this platform. Or <laughs> why? <laughs> I want this item. I know I can do this lensless, so I'm going to do this lensless. Take that. Good thing I just missed. My goodness. I am literally on the cusp of getting a th the third remains. I don't... Oh, I would not have uh, gotten that. Oh, these ice keys. I know this is a bit of a time waste, but die! Going to get it. I've been so close. I can taste it. Take that.
Well, if all else fails, just wing it. <laughs> there we go. You are the real Swamp Deed. Okay. So now with that, let's go back, trade, and get the remains on the pillar. <laughs> Not Clock Town. Come on. And I do also need to keep in mind the uh, Night 1 and Night 2 of Graveyard, because... Just because I found the hookshot doesn't mean that uh, something else isn't hiding in those areas. Nothing has said that they are foolish. But I need... to find the bossa nova. I find that this game is basically over, because at this rate, it either gives me the last remains hiding somewhere in Great Bay Temple, or it gives me a thing which I then assume, okay, that's the next thing that's needed to find the uh, the last remain. So let's go. We're trading. Take it. Gold dust. That actually lends credence to doing smithy now. Uh, all right. So we're gonna get this now. I do say this aloud now as well, and this is maybe kind of fortunate. There we go. Georg's remains. Hookshot does give me Ikana Valley access. There are a fair number of things I can do there. It might be worth my while to try and do a few of those things right now. Like there's a couple grottos I can do. I can do some of the, the mini boss fights. There's a number of treasure chests I can get. So I think it is worth my time to just try a few things. See what I get. Hopefully my assumption of the mirror shield will at least be somewhat correct. And that I don't have to do anything in regards to stone tower. And maybe even um, the uh, ca uh, Castle Ikana. That is my hope. So we'll just get things past here. Thankfully it's not the annoying bomb chews. And, uh, and the Goron lookalikes too. I want Gibdo. I am also going to write down where I found the gold dust. Uh, here we go. I would like I would like entrance into your valley of the dead. Cuz I will say like having a a new area to explore is great. That's a lot of untapped areas to um, to finally like do. And of course, if I find the bossa nova really quick, then hey, guess who's like on point to finish the game? So what do we got over there? That is a <laughs> shield. Well, you extended magic for a hundred? Eh, sure, why not? Not that I need it per se, but sure. Um, okay, Ocean Deed is also a thing I can trade. I would have to go to the Astral Observatory, so I'll uh, I'll keep that in mind as a thing to do in the future. Okay, now what I will do because I do have the ice arrows. One of the first times I've equipped them all game. I'm gonna set up the owl statue so that I can song a soaring back there. Snowhead Great Fairy's piece of heart. I did record that one. Yes, okay. 
Oops. I can still remember all the times playing Majora's Mask as a kid. Like, I I want to say there was, like, uh, one of the cartridges I rented as a kid. So naturally, you'd get, like, the files that were well completed or very far in and as a kid who didn't know anything I would uh, I you know you just go and explore and just see what you could find and y you never knew what you would find you would just you literally play it you had no knowledge of anything and I think one of the the things was how do you get from uh, the lower the lower area to the upper area I didn't know anything about the Ice Arrows and their mechanic of freezing the Octoroks, because as a kid, I didn't do anything with Great Bay Temple at that point. So, lots of confusion. Alright. Let's see how well this goes. I have the Light Arrows, so this is perfectly doable. I just have to find a bossa nova. Oh. That is the sound of the end. So I've got six in-game hours. And thankfully, every one of these chests gives me a thing. Or every one of these bosses gives me an item to acquire. So... If I'm fast enough, we'll be good. Thank you, Razor Sword. Ow, flame. That one's a quick one, at the very least. One down. First check. Kamaro's Mask. Okay. So I can do that one. That's good. Come on, Bossa Nova. Where are you located? Ooh, I am very low on arrows. Thankfully, the only one that should... Uh, the only one that should pose a length of time problem is Wart. All these other ones are pretty dang quick. Can I find you? Almost. I do remember... Uh, uh, that you can snipe them uh, before the um, uh, the animation to play him uh, running about uh, place. And actually hitting that shot is pretty exciting for me. So if it comes to after I finish this, I'll reset time and then I'll do some more exploring with the hook shot. For the health back, I would actually like arrows if I could get a few. Like that. As long as I'm not hearing the moon go like super crazy with the rumbling, I think I'm fine. So I'm going to use bombs as my other little trick here. And thankfully, I only take regular damage from things, so these bubbles might not be terrible. Aha! 
Aha, quick spins are fun. That actually is kind of my little, um, my little trick. And, and this is just how I assume it works. Like, I could be completely wrong. It's a, um, like a chain reaction bomb. So what I would do is I'd have one bomb uh, set. And then as it's about to blow, throw another bomb close to it. And then the first one would blow up, hopefully blowing up the second one. And at that point, I hope Wart's eye is actually open and that's a way to cause damage because at that point, the bubbles would be off the shield from the first blow up. Okay, you're useless. I know that. Now, thankfully, the Garo Master is not too difficult if you get the pattern right. So I'll just do that. Oh, wow, I actually missed. Or missed getting hit. I suppose I should finish that sentence. before he commits, commits boom. And there we go. That was probably one of the fastest sanctuaries I've had playing this game. Especially that wart fight. That went very well. I got fooled! I suppose a ninja would be the only one to leave a cunning trap behind. There we go. Sanctuary finished. Would just be all of the regular goings on in Ikana now that I'd have to think about. Which I will totally consider. 20 rupees. Okay. So I'm going to go back to town. So depositing rupees would be, I think, all I would need to do. Because despite the fact that I still have a few in there, I still think I'm going to need at least a few rupees to back me up. So we'll do this. Uh, reset time. And... Oh, thanks for the health back. I, I can use that. All right, I think that's everything. Gold dust is sadly useless to me at this point. Because, uh, well, it's night three. So I'd have to do that little platforming shenanigan to get the remains. Um, now, again, if the trick... I, I don't know this right now, but if that trick was a thing, then the gold dust could still be under logic. I'd have to, again, keep that in mind. All right. Well, with a new cycle comes new chances to explore the world and get things figured out, to which we will be doing that on the next episode. I know things were starting to get a little bit exciting there now that I got the hook shot and things to do, but I get the feeling there's still just a good amount of game left to go at this point. The new wave bossa nova can literally be anywhere. So I have to I have to follow this chain of ideas and see what happens. So I'm going to be going to a lot of hookshot uh, heavy ideas uh, and areas to figure out where that bossa nova is. But I get the feeling that uh, the end is near. So it very well may be the finale on the next episode. So I will hope you tune in. But with that being said, thank you very much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this. Take care. Stay safe and have a good day.